Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nine seven you in class again today. How have you been? On today's video, we are going to show you how to download some terrain data like a um, digital elevation model using your global map, right? Good. So the first thing is that we need an extent, which is like um, a vector data with which we would uh, extract from what the base map, right? Good. So now let's um, open data files to get a shape file. All right, so we need um, this shape file there. Let's uh, open that up. Good. So the shape file has been imported, right? Good. So now let's come up to files and then open what the online repository, right? Good. So you can see different data sources, the popular, premium, and the rest of that. What we need is actually under terrain data, which is what is um, Astagi them, or if you need any other uh, maybe terrain data that meets your requirement, you can actually select them, right? Good. So it's still under what the popular, yeah, good, the popular sources. So you either select it from here or you select it from here, right? Good. So let's now connect. Good, you can see it has been successfully loaded, so you can keep zooming in and out to see how the whole extent is covered. And then rightly, this is like what a skill, right? Good, the, the legend or let's say the guide to show you the different colors that you have. Okay, so let's bring this down a bit. Good, so you can see the tiny... Um, black line that shows our extent right good so now for us to extract the the them that covers this extent the first thing is that we need to start what the digitizing mode for our vector data so we come up to the digitizer right good the digitizer tool and then it um allows you to modify an existing vector as well as to create a new one right good so we click on ok now we select what the shape file that we already have there and now it is on the what the editing mode so while it's on the editing mode let's select what the astagi them and then come up what, to the layer options right good under the control center now under the elevation options let's um, come down to cropping and then under cropping we are going to what crop to currently selected polygons now what this means is that it's going to crop the the digital elevation model that is being displayed on our screen towards to the vector data we have there so let's say crop to currently selected polygon we can just um, apply that and you can see that immediately it has been cropped right good so we click on ok so this will now serve as what the digital elevation model of this extent right good so if you want to move it out there are different ways of exporting you go to files and then you come down to export then you see what export um, elevation grid file like um, export elevation grid format you can export it via the same um, window or you can still come down to this um, particular aster them you right click then you go to what layers and then under layers you come down to what export layers right good because we have two layers and then asking us which of them we want to export so we click on the one we want to export we click on ok and then we still come back to what the select them um, export format right good so you have different um, options with which you can export so now let's come back to files and then let's go to export and then let's look at what them um, export them um, elevation grid format then there are different um, file formats we can use. So preferably, I'm going to use them um, Jutif. Then um, click on OK. Now there's a tip that you can read maybe to guide you. Then this is what the Jutif export option. So there are different options here. You can just go through them to see if you would make any modifications and ensure that you apply the modifications you make before you click on OK, right? good so we are working on a folder called them um, them and then let's call this um so let's say a saga them right good so let's say a saga them and then the file type is what is um jutif so we click on save good it has been successfully exported we can still import the exported um, digital elevation model back to global mapper just like we can do for qgs right good so now 
let's um, turn some of these layers off let's also turn this one off so that um, we can import what the data file right good so we have what the saga them perfect so you can see what the digital elevation model of what that particular location has been imported back to what global mapper and you can also see the color ramp that shows what that gives you a guide on what the scale right good so thanks for coming to class and we hope we've provided solution to this particular surveying or gis related problem if you have any question related to this and you would want us to guide you through some tax you can always um, reach out to us via the number displayed on your screen and we'll get back to you as soon as possible ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye